What would you do if someone asks from you the impossible? Most people would simply shrug their shoulders and walk away. After all, doing the impossible is impossible, right? The Torah tells us in this week's parasha that Hashem promises Avram that he'll have children. And he takes Avram outside and says, look, look up into the sky, see the stars, count those stars. V'koi yezarecha. And such will be your offspring. Now, Avram was old, his wife was old. That's impossible. Rav Meir Shapira Zatzal, the Lublina Rav, asked, if someone asked you to count the stars, would you even start? Would you even attempt to try and do so? No. What did Avram do? Avram looked up and he started to count the stars. He did something even though it appeared impossible. And that's what Hashem told him. This will be the Midah. This will be inside the DNA of every one of your children that they will always try to do and accomplish the impossible. The trait of every Yid is refusing to acknowledge the impossibility of the situation. Yitzi Nadel, a from Jewish soldier here in Israel, was called up last Simchas Torah. And he expressed his disappointment in not having a Simchas Torah, not being able to dance together with the Torah. This past Simchas Torah a few weeks ago, he was also serving in Gaza. Once again, no Simchas Torah. Now Yitzi's job is to work in a specific unit transporting soldiers and equipment in and out of Gaza. And one day this week, just a few days ago, Yitzi was told his mission of the day. They sent him an army vehicle in order to pick up a Sefer Torah from a specific place in Gaza and move it to a different location where that unit was going to. Yitzi couldn't believe it. Finally, he gets to hold a Sefer Torah. He's inside the army vehicle. He's holding on tight to that Sefer Torah. And he's thinking to himself, last Simchas Torah a year ago, I wasn't able to dance with the Torah. A few weeks ago, Simchas Torah, I also didn't have a Simchas Torah. Now I'm holding, just a mere few days after Simchas Torah, my Sefer Torah. And at that moment, he heard himself sing the familiar songs that we sing every Simchas Torah. Moshe Emes, Moshe Emes, Vesayra Emes. And at that moment, the driver of the army truck did a U-turn and made some curves in the road. And he said, these are my hakofas. This is my Simchas Torah. Something that I thought would never happen, finally happened. Yitzi got his Simchas Torah in the end. In life, there are so many things that just seem impossible. But remember, this week's parasha tells us, in our DNA means that we can accomplish even the things that we think are impossible. Have an amazing Shabbos. To listen to more by Rabbi Avi Wiesenfeld, visit 